the ATF finalized its unconstitutional rule pertaining to firearms with stabilizing braces. Under this new ATF rule, any pistol-braced firearm would be considered an illegal short-barreled rifle. Subjecting these firearms to draconian re regulations under the NFA, the National Firearms Act of 1934, and turning millions of law-abiding gun owners into criminals literally overnight. Unelected anti-gun bureaucrats informed law-abiding gun owners possessing pistols with these braces attached that they will have only 120 days to register them once the rule is published in the Federal Register. This 120-day amnesty window started yesterday, January 31st. As we have seen across the world time and time again, what comes before gun confiscation? Gun registration. That's right. That's exactly what ATF is now demanding. But for stabilize, stabilizer brace owners who do not wish to register their firearms, the ATF provides four alternatives. The first, turn in the entire firearm with the attached stabilizing brace to the ATF. That means forfeiting your firearm. The second, destroy the whole firearm. Again, another forfeiture of your firearm. The third, convert the pistol brace into a long-barreled rifle that does not require registration, but is also much more difficult to use with a brace. Or number four, permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace from the firearm so that it cannot be reattached. If gun owners who possess braced firearms refuse to register, destroy, turn in, or alter their firearm after this 120-day window, they face National Firearms Act violations, felony violations, including hefty fines up to $250,000 and up to 10 years in prison for having an unregistered short-barreled rifle. In other words, the ATF's rule turns law-abiding gun owners into criminals, into felons for simply doing nothing. That's right. If they do nothing, then after 120 days, they are in felony violation of ATF's reinterpreted law, all for simply maintaining their Second Amendment freedoms. So what exactly are these alleged hazardous stabilizing braces? A pistol brace, also known as a stabilizing brace, is simply an accessory that is attached to the rear of a large firearm in order to anchor the gun to the shooter's arm to better stabilize it, allowing them to more accurately be shot one-handed, just like what you see right here. This is a stabilizing these braces were actually designed to help disabled veterans enjoy the sport of shooting so they can improve their shooting capabilities and their accuracy. Unfortunately, these beneficial braces have faced uniformed and unwarranted backlash from unelected bureaucrats for years. In 2012, the ATF provided a letter determining that pistol braces were legal to use and to shoulder. This decision was then reversed three years later by the ATF in 2015 in which stabilizing braces became illegal to shoulder, turning braced firearms into unregistered short-barreled rifles. Now, the braces remained legal if held at arm's length, but illegal if brought back to the shoulder. How does that make any sense? This flip-flopped again in 2017, when stabilizing braces were once more determined to be legal to shoulder by the ATF, as long as the original design of the brace remained unmodified as brace pistols are vilified yet again, declared by the ATF to be unregistered short-barreled rifles, requiring registration, and their owners classified as felons if they simply do nothing. Clearly, as in most cases of unconstitutional gun control, unelected bureaucrats who have little to no knowledge of firearms or respect for the Second Amendment rights are steamrolling ahead with unlawful restrictions which will impact estimates say anywhere from 3 million to up to 40 million firearms across the country. Why? To advance the less dangerous dream of disarming our nation and dismantling our Second Amendment rights. That's what gun control is all about. The ultimate goal is an unarmed and subjugated America. I can assure gun owners across this great nation that I and Second Amendment loving Republican colleagues will do everything in our power to never allow that to happen. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>